Big Meech wanted everyone to know that T.I. is not a snitch. Now, a lot of people are always suspicious of T.I. snitching because of some trouble he got in, especially the trouble he got in in 2007. Uh, October 13, 2007, federal authorities arrested T.I. four hours before the BET Awards in Atlanta. He was charged with two felonies, possession of three unregistered machine guns and two silencers and possession of firearms by a convicted felon. The rest was made in a parking lot of a downtown shopping center, which witnesses identified as the Walgreens drugstore at the north corner of North and Piedmont Avenues. T.I. was arrested after allegedly trying to purchase the guns from a cooperating witness with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. According to federal officials, the witness had been cooperating with authorities a few days prior to the T.I. arrest when the cooperating witness was arrested on charges of trying to purchase guns from a federal agent. The witness had been working with T.I.'s as T.I.'s bodyguard since July. Authorities said T.I. walked out of the Atlanta United States District Court after appearing before the U.S. Magistrate Judge Alan Braveman on October 26, 2007. Judge Braveman required T.I. to post $3 million bond and $2 million in cash, $1 million in equity and property. And then he was on some, like, some house arrest. And then he only got, like, I think he only got, like, a year or two or something like that. And people were, like, most people would that were caught getting that much guns, right, would do, like, 10 years, you know? So he did a lot of, like, uh... He did. A, he did a lot of. He did these like no snitching campaign or snitching campaign things. Like you know, I remember it was like you know if you have information on somebody, he was doing all these things you know that he agreed to do to stay out of jail and only do a small amount of time, right? But a lot of people were like, oh no, he snitched because, uh, you know he he got out of jail so fast. Because usually if you get out of jail fast, it's you know assume that you're a snitch, right? A big meech, right? I uh, said, no, he is not a uh, a snitch. The letter went out from Big Meech to everybody, to the world, right? And he said, uh, there is no uh, there is no person in the federal state system that can say anything that T.I. Clifford Harris snitched on them. I'm tired of people saying his name when his plea deal and sentencing transcripts is online. You pay $40 to get on PACER. And you have all the access to court documents by the United States. Um, Meach letters to everybody. He said he's a 100% stand-up dude and all that snitch talk is just talk. He said, uh, was Kirkland, I must get straight to the point because I personally have a problem with people assassinating a real stand-up dude character, namely T.I. Talking about he is a snitch when we are living in an information era where there are absolutely no public record of this man being a snitch. There is no person in the federal or state system that can say T.I. is a snitch. I'm tired of people spraying his name, his plea deal, and sentencing transcripts online. You pay $40 on PACER and you get the whole documents. They also show you any motions or appeals that have been filed within 48-hour period. The government would never hide the fact that T.I. is a snitch because they would want the world to know that they broke him. Like they broke Sammy the Bull, Nikki Barnes, Rafael Edmonds, Alpo, and Frank Lucas, who snitched on his own family members. As far as the Ohio incident in which his friend Philland got killed, TIP was subpoenaed to the court and only said a van pulled alongside and started shooting. He did not see the shooter or who was shooting. From my understanding, the shooter's own brother snitched on him. To sum it up, I put me, the real Big Meech, and the whole BMF family on the line for T.I. Clifford Harris is 100% solid, authentic dude. And then he signed off. Now, that means a lot because Big Meech, now this is older, but Big Meech, okay, is, you know, he went to jail. He's doing, like, football numbers, right? And he didn't snitch on anybody. He could have gave up his connect and got less time, but he didn't. He's in there doing his time. So it means a lot coming from somebody like that. A lot. So even even my friend Shorty Lowe, right? Now, he, his only problem with T.I. was he didn't believe he was from Bankhead. You know, there's no arrest record of him in Bankhead, he said. You know, and I can't, I don't I don't know him from being from Bankhead. And I, I, I am Bankhead. 
That's the only problem he had with him. He never he liked the music, and he never said he's not a real guy. He just said hey, he's lying about where he's from. That was his biggest problem with Ti. But uh, as far as I mean, you know, if Big Meat just standing up for Ti. That means a lot. And you know, I just wanted to put that story out there. I know it's been out there, but you know, rebring it up. Let me know what you guys think about Ti. Oh, 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 oh